follow you for more to share for more here to empower your inner video creator. I just saved this little friend. Do you want to know how to create an effect that makes plants grow using for more ten? Using features like speed adjustment and some clever filming, you can create a really cool effect that looks like you can control nature. First, let's film the clips we need for the effect. We will need an artificial flower and some sand. The flower should be medium sized with a long stem. You can find these items at any home improvement or discount store. Place the flower in your hand facing up. Make sure the stem is long enough because we will need to manually pull the flower from in between the fingers. Spread some sand in your hand until it covers a good portion of the stem. Once the flower and sand are ready, we can set up the camera and find a good angle. Make sure we can only see the palm part. We're using the bird's eye view angle in this example. Then we can pull the stem from under the hand slowly. Don't worry if the flower isn't fully covered by the sand. Okay, let's bring the clips into Filmora 10. Drag and drop the video clip onto the video track on the timeline. Right click and select speed and duration. Check the reverse speed box in the pop-up window and click OK. Play back the timeline and now the flower should look like it is growing from the sand. Now, let's use a mask to fully cover the flower with sand. Duplicate the video clip onto the second video track. Make sure the clips are aligned with each other. Open the effect window. Find the image mask under the utility section. Drag and drop the effect onto the new clip. To see the mask clearly, we can hide the first video track by clicking on the eye icon here. Then double click the new clip we just added to activate the setting window on the top left. Find the mask settings. Adjust the scale of the mask to review a part that shows only the sand. Set the feather number to 100. Then, click the eye icon again to see the first video track. Select the sand clip and move it around to make sure it covers the flower. Move the playhead to the spot where the flower starts to grow. Trim the clip here. Go to the transition window. Find color distance transition from the basic section. Drag and drop it onto the sand clip. Let's play back and see how it looks. Looks good! Now, we will need some film stock effects. Go to the element window on the top left. Select film stock. Find shockwave tough element from the shockwave pack. Drag and drop it onto the third video track. Adjust the position to match with the flower. Okay, let's see the result. There are also other effects from Filmstock that we can use too. Feel free to check them out at filmstock.wanashiro.com. And that's how to edit cool effects using speed control in Filmora 10. Mm, would you rather control plants or the weather? Let us know in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time. Do you want to know how to make